Hi all. So in this video, uh, we will discuss about different gates based on different logic families. That is, uh, van gate or gate like gates based on CMOS and TTL logic. Okay. So first, we are going to discuss about CMOS logic. That is complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic. Okay. And in that, uh, we are mainly using the N channel MOSFET and P channel MOSFET. Okay. So this is the gate drain and source and we know that for an n-channel MOSFET if you are giving a high value of voltage at the gate that is across gate and source if you are applying a high value that is which means a plus 5 volt then it will be on that is it will behave as a closed switch and if you are giving a low voltage at the gate it will behave as an open switch but in the case of a p-channel MOSFET what will happen is entirely opposite of n-channel that is if you are giving a low value at the gate then the p-channel MOSFET is act as a closed switch that is it will be on and if you are giving a high value at the gate it will be off that is it will act as an open switch so this is the basic switching circuit we must understand before going to learn different gates based on these MOSFETs and the first one is the CMOS inverter okay for a CMOS uh, inverter we are using an P channel MOSFET and an N channel MOSFET okay so first condition is if you are giving a high value okay high input what will be your output okay if you are giving a high value uh, we know that th this is an P channel and this is an N channel for a P channel if you are giving a high value it will be off and for N channel if you are giving a high value at the gate it will be on okay so this is the condition this is off and this is on okay and uh, this VDD cannot reach to this point because this Q1 is off. So we are getting a low value at as the output here. Okay, so we are we are taking the output across this point, this point and ground. So we are getting a low value at the output. Okay, but if we are giving a low value as the input, what will happen is the first MOSFET that is P-channel MOSFET will be on. Okay and the n channel MOSFET will be off because we are giving a low value here okay so what will happen this VDD approximately this plus VDD is came at this point so we are getting a high value across this point okay across this point and ground okay because this Q2 is off so we are getting a high value across these two points okay as the out output so this circuit will act as an inverter okay and this is a CMOS NAND gauge so uh, the transfer it is a P channel MOSFET Q1 is P channel Q2 is P channel Q3 and Q4 are N channel okay so for the first condition that is A and B are low low that is 0 0 okay this S means it is uh, is in saturation condition that is on condition and C means it is in cutoff condition correspond uh, MOSFET is in cutoff condition that is off condition okay when both the values are 0 0 okay when both the values are 0 0 what will happen is uh, if this is 0 this is 0 okay what will happen is the Q1 will be okay this P channel MOSFET Q1 will be on and Q2 will be on and Q3 will be off and Q4 will be off okay so we are getting what we are getting here that is this VDD okay this VDD is up here at this point okay we are taking the output across this point and the ground okay so this VDD is appear across this point and ground because Q3 and Q4 are off and Q1 is on okay so VDD in both ways this VDD is came across this point and ground so we are getting a high value as the output okay H means high okay high value and uh, for the next case that is uh, when input A is 0 and input B is 1 what will happen is what will happen that is uh, the first MOSFET Q1 okay Q1 will be on and uh, Q2 will be off because we are giving a one value okay one high value as a gate of Q2 so Q2 will be off 
and uh, q3 will be off and q4 will be on so this is the condition here and what will happen so this vdd is still this vdd is appear at this point okay up this point and also this q3 is off so it cannot conduct to ground okay so we are getting a high value still we are getting a high value across this point and ground okay as the output so for L, uh, a is low for a is zero and b is high we are getting a high value okay likewise we can um, understand okay we can uh, find all other uh, conditions and uh, we are getting high and low values correspondingly okay so this is cc cmos nand gate and next is a cmos nor gate here also we are going to uh, uh, consider any two conditions okay so uh, we are taking the first condition when both the inputs are 0 0 okay 0 0 what will happen so here q1 will be on because it is a p channel mosfet and q2 will be on it is also a p channel mosfet and q3 will be off and q4 will be off okay and here we are taking the output across this point okay this point and ground okay so what will happen here so this vdd is up here at this point and this q3 and q4 are off so we are getting a high value across this point and ground okay this vdd we are getting at the output so we are getting a high value here okay then for all other cases uh, so uh, we can consider the next case for an example that is uh, when input a is 0 and input b is 1 okay so what will happen here that is the q1 will be on because it is a p channel and q2 will be off we are getting we are giving a high value at the gate of a q2 it is a p channel so it will be off condition and q3 will be off and q4 will be on okay so this is a condition here so what will happen here uh, this q1 is on so vdd is come to this point at the uh, uh, drain point of q2 but it can't come at, the, at this point okay because q2 is off okay so we are getting a low value for this condition when a is 0 and b is 1 we are getting a low value across this this point and ground because this q2 is off there is no way to reach this plus vdd to this point okay so there is no condition here so we are getting a low value for all other condition we are getting a low value here okay you can check it and the next one is the ttl we are going to learn uh, the ttl logic that is transistor trans logic how it is going to work okay for a trans trans logic we are using an uh, n channel uh, that is sorry uh, npn transfer and a pnp transfer for the purpose so here uh, it is uh, shown the working of an npn transfer okay npn transfer for an npn transfer if you are giving a high value at its base this transfer will be on and it will act as an closed switch okay and also if you are giving a low value at the base this transfer will be act as an transfer will be off and it will act as an open switch okay that's the condition we have to learn before uh, studying the next gates okay and we are uh, taking two examples for ttl logic that is ttl inverter and ttl nand gate okay so this is a figure of a ttl inverter okay so number of gate uh, npn transistors we are using four npn transistors we are using here okay and we are giving the input here and we are taking the output across this point and ground okay and supply voltage is plus vcc and some resistors are using its value is given here okay and suppose if you are giving a high value at the input what will happen here okay if you are giving a high value as the input then the base emitter junction of this q1 okay base emitter junction of this q1 will be in reverse bias condition and 
this base collector junction will be in forward biased condition okay so there will not be any uh, current flow okay there will not be any current flow in this direction okay so this uh, current will flow through r1 then to the base and to the collector okay and this q2 is getting enough base drive to turn on so q2 will be turn on in this condition okay when q2 is turn on what will happen this q3 is getting enough base drive to turn on so q3 will be turn on okay so q3 will be turn on okay on and what will happen to q4 here q2 is on so there will be uh, enough voltage drop across r2 okay so this q2 is not getting enough base drive to turn on so this q4 will be off q4 will be in off condition okay so so uh, in this condition what we are getting as the output so here q4 is off okay so there is no way to reach this plus vcc to here okay so we are getting a low value across this point and ground that is low value means it is approximately equal to the vc saturation that is 0.7 volt of q3 okay so if you are giving a high value as the input we are getting a low value at the output okay so this is the basic working of the tdtl inverter likewise we can also find if you are giving a zero here we are getting a one here okay i guess we can check it uh, the same explaining that that is if you are uh, giving a zero if you are giving a zero what will happen so this uh, q1 q1 will be that is the base emitter junction of q1 will be in a forward biased condition so the current will flow in this direction so uh, this q2 is not getting enough base drive to turn on so the q2 will be off when q2 is off q3 will be off then uh, here q2 is off so this q4 is getting q4 is getting enough base drive to turn on so q4 will be on okay so q4 will be on this vcc is came here to this point so we are getting a q3 is off also so we are getting a high value across these two points okay across this point and ground okay so we are get if you are giving a zero here we are getting a high value here okay that's the working of a ttl inverter and next one is a ttl uh, nand gate so here uh, the diode d1 okay the d1 is used here to um, avoid the negative spikes in the input okay when a negative spikes come here it will bypass to its ground so the it is the uh, use of the diode d1 here and also this diode d2 will ensure uh, that both this times q3 q3 in q4 okay either q3 or q4 will be on okay both are not conducting okay it will ensure by the diode d2 okay and next is the ttl nand gate so here uh, the transistor q1 q1 is a multi emitter transistor and q2 is called the phase splitter here and transistor q3 and q4 okay are sits above that is uh, q4 is sits above q3 okay so uh, this arrangement we can call it as a totem pole arrangement totem pole arrangement okay that is totem pole arrangement okay totem pole arrangement so the advantages of this uh, totem pole arrangement that is that, uh, that is the uh, both of this transistor q4 and q3 okay cannot be uh, on or off simultaneously okay this diode d uh, diode d will be uh, diode here will be ensures that and also some advantages are there for totem pole arrangement that is to uh, we can reduce the power dissipation here okay power dissipation will be low and also the response of the gate will be fast okay faster response will be there so that is the advantage of totem pole arrangement so uh, now we are going to discuss about the working of the ttl nand gate we know that the two table of a two uh, nand gate is like that that is a b are the input when a b are zero zero the output x will be what will x will be one and for zero one uh, x will be um, 
സീറോ സോറി ദർ ഈസ് എ ബി ആൻഡ് എക്സ് ഓക്കെ ഫോർ എൻ ആൻഡ് ഗേറ്റ് വെൻ എ ആൻ ബി ആർ സീറോ സീറോ ഔട്ട് വിൽ ബി വൺ ആൻഡ് വൺ സീറോ വൺ ഔട്ട് വിൽ ബി വൺ ആൻഡ് വൺ സീറോ ഔട്ട് വിൽ ബി വൺ ആൻഡ് വൺ വൺ ഔട്ട് വിൽ ബി സീറോ സോ ദർ ഈസ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ടു ടേബിൾ ഓഫ് എ ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഗേറ്റ് വി നോ ഇറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിങ് ദ വെൻ ബോത്ത് ദ ഇൻപുട്സ് ആർ ഹൈ ഓക്കെ വെൻ ബോത്ത് ദ ഇൻപുട്സ് ആർ ഹൈ വാട്ട് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ഓക്കെ ദർ ഈസ് ഇൻപുട്ട് എ ഈസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഇസ് ബി ഈസ് വൺ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഈസ് എ ഈസ് വൺ ഇൻപുട്ട് ബി ഈസ് വൺ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ വാട്ട് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ വെൻ ബോത്ത് ദ ഇൻപുട്സ് ആർ വൺ ദെൻ ദ ബേസ് എമിറ്റ് ദ ബേസ് എമിറ്റ് ജംഗ്ഷൻ ബോത്ത് ദ ബേസ് എമിറ്റ് ജംഗ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദിസ് മൾട്ടി എമിറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ് ക്യൂ വൺ വിൽ ബി ഇൻ റിവേഴ്സ് ബേസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ സോ എ കറണ്ട് വിൽ ഫ്ലോ ത്രൂ ആർ വൺ ആൻഡ് ത്രൂ ബേസ് ടു ദ കളക്ടർ ഓഫ് ക്യൂ വൺ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഫ്ലോ ടു ദ ബേസ് ഓഫ് ക്യൂ ടു സോ ക്യൂ ടു ഈസ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് ബേസ് ഡ്രൈവ് ടു ടേൺ ഓൺ വെൻ ദിസ് ക്യൂ ടു ഈസ് ടേൺ ഓൺ ഇവൻച്വലി ദ ക്യൂ ത്രീ വിൽ ബി ടേൺ ഓൺ ക്യൂ ത്രീ ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് ബേസ് ഡ്രൈവ് ടു ടേൺ ഓൺ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് വെൻ ക്യൂ ടു ഈസ് ഓൺ ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി സെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദർ ഈസ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഡ്രോപ്പ് അക്രോസ് ആർ ടു സോ ക്യൂ ഫോർ ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് ബേസ് ഡ്രൈവ് ടു ടേൺ ഓൺ സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഇൻ ഓഫ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഓൺ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഓൺ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ഓഫ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഓക്കെ so uh, what is output here when both inputs are 1 1 this uh, this is off okay so there is no way to reach the this plus vcc here okay so we are getting we are getting a low output across this point and ground okay because q4 is off this plus is is not coming here so we are getting a low output so for 1 1 we are getting a low outputs here okay then for uh, when uh, all other conditions okay that is when either a or b or both are low okay either a or b or both are low what will happen that is uh, we can just consider a condition that is zero and one here okay okay then uh, here the input a is zero and b is one so uh, the ബേസ് എമിറ്റർ ജംഗ്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ബേസ് എമിറ്റർ ജംഗ്ഷൻ ഈസ് ഫോർവേഡ് ബയാസ്ഡ് ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ ഫോർവേഡ് ബയാസ്ഡ് ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ ബിക്കോസ് ഇൻപുട്ട് എ ഈസ് സീറോ സോ ദ കറണ്ട് വിൽ ഫ്ലോ ഓക്കെ ത്രൂ എനി വൺ ഓഫ് ദ എമിറ്റർ ത്രൂ ടു ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ഓക്കെ ടു ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ദ ബേസ് കളക്ടർ ജംഗ്ഷൻ ഈസ് റിവേഴ്സ് ബയാസ്ഡ് സോ ക്യൂ ടു വിൽ ബി ഓഫ് ആൻഡ് ക്യൂ ത്രീ വിൽ ബി ഓഫ് ഇവൻച്വലി ക്യൂ ത്രീ വിൽ ബി ഓഫ് ആൻഡ് ക്യൂ ഫോർ വിൽ ബി ഓൺ ഓക്കെ so this will be off this will be off and q4 will be on okay so uh, here we are getting this plus is came uh, came under this point okay came to this point and we are getting a high value because q3 is off here so we are getting a high value across this point and ground okay so for 0 1 we are getting a high value and for all other condition for 0 0 and for 1 0 condition also uh, the same things are happening here so we are getting a high value at its output okay so this is the working of a ttl nand gate i hope all of you understand the working of cmos and ttl logic gates okay thank you